cuenta. No sé, no sé si usted no, no lo ve o no lo quiere ver. La hermana Carmen Lebrón canta un cántico que dice, escapa por tu vida, escapa por tu vida, huye, huye de los acontecimientos que vienen. Estás a tiempo, todavía hay esperanza para ti, todavía se predica este evangelio. Todavía los templos están abiertos. Todavía hay quien reparta un tratado. Todavía hay quien diga que Cristo salva. Todavía hay quien se pare y, y diga lo que tú no quieres saber en este momento. Aprovecha, arrepiéntete, ar aprovecha. Y acepta y date cuenta qué más quieres ver para entender qué más quieres oír qué más esperas que suceda para que tú puedas darte cuenta que estamos en los últimos días que Dios te está ofreciendo la oportunidad de que escapes por tu vida Dios te da la oportunidad de que te arrepientas que le busques, que le aceptes, Él te ofrece una vida mejor, aunque hayan problemas, aunque haya escasez, aunque haya guerras y conflictos, Él te ofrece velar por ti, cuidar de ti, si tú le aceptas, si tú abres tu corazón y le aceptas como tu Señor y Salvador. Que Dios te bendiga. Y escapa por tu vida. Con nosotros el hermano Johnny. Gloria a Dios. Aleluya. Dios le bendiga al hermano Julio. Dios le bendiga al hermano Julio. Le doy gracias a Dios de estar aquí. Compartiendo con mis hermanos y mis hermanas la palabra de Dios. God bless our brothers. God bless Julio. God bless. We, I thank the Lord for being here to preach the word of God. And we're here today to preach the word to preach the word of God to everybody, so that everybody may hear this. Because the devil's a liar. The devil's here to destroy. The devil's a murderer, and he's here to destroy and to take our souls. John 8:44 says, "You are the father, you are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abide not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks, he speaks a lie of his own. Therefore he is a, li a liar and a father of it. He is the father of liars. The devil came to destroy us and to take our souls. And he doesn't want you to hear this. He doesn't want you to hear the word of God. John 8:45 says, "And because I tell you the truth, you do not believe not. You do not believe it, because God is here to tell you the truth. God is here for you to seek Him, for you to break the chains of evil, for you to break the the, the chains of the devil, the chains of drugs, the chains of everything that he that he puts you under, because the Lord is here to help you." break these chains he is the only savior he is here to save the world Jesus saves us he saves us from everything from sin from hell from drugs from us from from each other he heals our heart he heals us he he gives us food physically spiritually the Lord is here for us all he died for us in our in the cross he is a liberator he liberates us from all evil from everything that's not that's not of the, from the, that's not his that's from this world he says unto us that whoever believeth in him have everlasting life and he is the bread of life john 6 47 and 48 jesus is here for us psalm 34 18 says the lord is near the brokenhearted that saves the us that are crushed in the spirit the devils came here to the earth to crush our spirit 
to crush us, to lie to us, so that we may believe the lie and he may and he may steal our soul. But God doesn't want that. God wants to liberate us. Luke 137 says, For nothing will be impossible with God. God makes the impossible possible. So if there's anything that that is here tormenting us in our lives, God can take that so take that away because there's nothing impossible through the Lord Jesus Christ. John 10:10 10, 10 says, "Yes, yeah. The thief comes not for to steal and to kill and to destroy." But the Lord comes with the thief, which is the devil, comes to destroy, to steal, and to kill. But the Lord Jesus Christ comes in the mighty so that you may have life and have more life more abundantly in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord wants to heal you. The Lord wants to take away all your sins. The Lord wants to help you. But you have to believe and come to, the, come to Lord, our God. Come to the Lord. Come to him and ask him for forgiveness. He will help you in whatever it is that you need help, but you have to ask the Lord to help you in the spirit and in, and in truth. You have to submit yourself to the Lord. James 4, 7 says, Submit yourself therefore to God to resist the devil, and the devil will flee from you. The devil will flee from you when you have the strength of God, because you're with God, and God is holy. God helps you to get rid of the devil and the devil ways. James 4, James 4, 8 says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, the, he, he will cleanse your hands for sinners and purify your hearts for the double-minded. The people that are living a life of God and want to live in God have to purify themselves. There are people nowadays who are living double lives, who are living lives that they're not supposed to live. But God is here to heal us. God is here to save us from our sins. God is here to help us. All we have to do is give our life and our trust in God. Trust in God and believe in God. Because God wants you to believe in him. God wants you to trust him. God wants to be one with you. But you have to let him in your heart, mind, body, and soul. Hallelujah. That is the only way you will be saved through God. God, love, God loves us and God wants us to show our love for one another. 1 John 4, 7 says, Let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loves is born of God and knows God. So if you, don't, if you don't love, then you don't know God. God wants us to love each other, to be one with each other, to help each other. Ephesians 1, 7 says, In Him we have redemption through His blood and forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of His grace. God gives us grace. God is here to help us. God is here for us to liberate us. He is a liberator. Romans 3.23 says, For all sin, for, for all of us sin, and fall short of the glory of God. Everybody sins. But the, the, the one thing that God wants us to do is redeem ourselves from our sins. Everybody sins. No matter who you are, we all sin. But God wants us to repent and to live our Gloria lives. Gloria a Dios. Alleluia. And not to sin. God gives us life. God gives us life and eternal life. Not just our normal life, but eternal life in God. God gives us his son, Jesus Christ, who died for us in the cross because he loves us. No matter who we are, no matter what race, no matter what religion, God loves us and God wants us and he loves us equally in all. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever him should not perish but have everlasting life. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the, the free gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. So if it wasn't for God, we would have died from our sins. And we continue to die from our sins because we don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. God shows his love for us in that while we were sinners, he died for us, says Romans 5, 8. We have to be closer and get closer to God. In this world, things are going on right now. 
that we do not understand. But God is here to liberate us from these things. And all these things are from the, from the, from the devil and from the ways of evil that the devil has. He has traps for us. And he is setting these traps now. And he's putting all these things, all these obstacles in the way for you not to come to God, for you not to love God, for you not to be one with God. God loves us all and wants us all to come to him and ask for his forgiveness and ask for his grace. Galatians 3.28 says, There is neither Jew nor Greek nor free nor slave, nor man nor female. You are all one in Jesus Christ. We are all one in the Christ our Lord. We all should be one. We all need to come as one in the church, as our church. Because God, we are the church of God. We are one to God. We need to get closer to God. John 4, 6, 14, 6 says, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. You have to come through the Lord and ask the Lord to save you. For us to be saved, for us to be liberated. For, us, for he created us all. And the Lord is real, just like heaven is real, just like hell is real. And the hell was hell was made for the devil and those that follow him. So we cannot follow the Lord. But we cannot follow the devil, I mean. I mean we have to follow the Lord. Follow the Lord. He'll liberate us and save us from the traps and the ways of the devil. Because the devil's here to to take us to hell. And we need to be saved from this. And the only Savior is our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him. God will save us. God will help us. God will liberate us. But God is not a God that wants, he gave us, he gave us the free will to do what we want to do. And we have to come in him free willing. Free willing. He wants you, he wants you free willing to come to him. He doesn't want to obligate you. He is a God of Lord, the Lord, Lord of peace and savior. He wants you to freely come to him for him to save you and change us. Because he will change you, change your heart, your mind, your body and soul. But you have to come to him. And the Lord will protect you and help you against all the things of the, wor of the world. But you have to come to him and be faithful to him. And listen to the word of God. And believe in the word of God. Because the God is real. And God wants to help you. But he needs you to understand him and to come to him. And the only way you can come to him is through the Lord Jesus Christ. And you must read the Bible to understand a lot of things that are happening and are going on right now in this world. Matthews, Revelation, Ezekiel, all these books in the Bible have all these things that are going on right now. The Lord has been saying to come to him within 2,000 years. The Lord has been telling you that he's coming. And you hear it every day. The Lord, I'm coming, I'm coming. Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. But now he's coming more than ever. We do not know when he's coming, but the time is coming soon. And we must, uh, we must repent and be ready for his coming. This I know, that the Lord is coming. And the Lord wants you to repent. And the Lord wants you to come to him. And he wants you to be saved through the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless us all and help us all. Because nothing is impossible with, without God. Luke 1 to 37 says nothing will be impossible with God. So you, you must believe in God, come forth to God, and have faith in God. And through, his, through God we will be saved. In the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless us all and have a great day. Dios te bendiga todo. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. El Señor bendiga a nuestro hermano Gianni Durant por tan precioso mensaje. Bendito Dios. Y no tienes excusa. Mensaje precioso. Hoy es el día de salvación. Dice la Biblia, si hoy oyes su llamado, no endurezcas tu corazón. La palabra ha sido predicada en español y en inglés. No hay excusa.